There is literally a wall of gray, and that is not a mountain face that you're looking at. That is literally rain hey, that we just came out of. There ain't nothing, there ain't nothing, there ain't nothing like coming. 25! Oh, 26! So, uh, we locked ourselves out of the bus. <gasps> oh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> but I'm so glad you did. Boys ran over the fly shop. Well, there's three fly shops in town, so they're probably gonna hit like everyone. But heading over there, they're gonna get some intel, kind of see what sort of bugs are coming off. We saw a ton of trichos, caddis, this and that, but um, couldn't really get anything to come eat the smaller bugs. So they're gonna talk to them and kind of see if they've got any intel that'll help us for today. But I'm looking forward to, you know, giving this, giving this river another shot. Yesterday was rough. It was challenging, it was frustrating. It was all of the above. And I think it's days like that that you need to have to appreciate the good days. I got my oatmeal, got my coffee. Uh, I'm ready to rock. And all I need is the boys back and uh, we're ready to get on them. Okay, so he's changed. What he changed to change now? Side turn, shit, shit. Keep on the hatch. Little uh, summer honey. Absolutely one of my favorite beers from Big Sky. I think they only make them in the summer and uh, it's, it's it's good, it's good. It'll get you where you need to go. So yesterday um, we definitely had some bad juju between Scotty and myself um, and we're not entirely blaming it on the net because superstitions are for bad fishermen, but we weren't good fishermen yesterday. So we're switching up nets and see if something will change today. And, and other news, a uh, quick shout out to Brady's handmade nets on these dope nets that he hooked us up with. Handmade wooden net that while being extremely functional, look absolutely gorgeous. So, uh, mad props to you. We have our early 90s hip hop already preloaded up. Uh, oh, yeah. Steve charged his speaker yesterday. We we're about to get our, our music going. We we're about to get our beer drinking going. At that point, it's just up to you to catch the fish. I, I've done all I can do at that point. Right on the bank is a good cast right now. I'll, I'll go bank. Like a foot off. Got him. There he is. There he is. There he is, Scotty. Good ate fish. The, ate the cat is... Oh, that was so sick, dude. That was so sick. Put his head up, head up, head up. Oh, if you can get his head up, I can scoop him. There he is. Mm. No, nope, he's still hot. Just turn about, turn about. Okay. Oh, there we go. Let's get home, dude. Oh, my Good shit, Scotty. Dude, my heart was just like. Good shit, bro. Oh, that was so awesome. Woo. Well, we switched over to the dry fly. And we're just running this this bank and like right after this little drop off, he just came up and hammered the hammered the top fly. First uh first first fish on the mo baby. Pretty stoked. Oh, oh, there he goes. <laughs> Lost him. <laughs> Oh my god! You don't 
nothing happened. Nothing yesterday, and then I just started running. Dude. <laughs> Fatty, dude. Well, uh, so one good way, especially out here in the West, to uh, figure out what in the world you need to use is just to uh, come get some of that action. And uh, <laughs> can you do that again for me? I, I didn't. I missed the technique. Right. All right, so here's the technique. Okay. <laughs> that looks so unathletic. <laughs> and then you just watch all the that pours out of there. absolute mad lad of a plastic catch right now and it is literally from one side of the river to the other side of the river you cannot stop seeing inner tubes and kayaks and inflatable kayaks I need that so bad <laughs> we could set an anchor up going off the uh, the parrot's beak <laughs> just dropping straight down there that's beautiful there's a tear coming down my eye right now you can't see it because it's so hot it just evaporated immediately but it, it was there Well, we just got off the river and we went into one of the flash shops here in Craig. Got some intel on some of the bugs and the section we're fishing. Kind of the conclusion was we need to get out on the water much, much earlier. But we managed to get two fish to, to the boat today, which was awesome. Um, got two fish to eat on dry, so that's even better. Some of you guys might be wondering what happened to the awning. We started putting it together in Salt Lake a couple days ago and we did we did not finish it. So the bolts that we got to mount the um, sunscreen, sun visor here, are like an inch and a half at the most. And we need a bolt about yay long to reach all the way through. But the, like I said, the diameter of this is just not gonna fit in there. So what I'm working on right now is just shaving down the circular area here so that the diameter on the pool actually fit within that. Uh, I think what we're gonna have to end up doing is uh, pushing this to volume three and do a little do a little searching for the correct bolts or at least a bolt that'll work because this is a lot more work than should be necessary for this. This is what it's all about my friends getting up before anyone wants to get up and being the first ones on the water. I'm already seeing some heads coming up here right as we're about to put in. There's always something special about getting out in the water super, super early, no matter where you are or what you're doing. It's just, there's a fish. It's just so quiet. Nobody's up, nobody's out here. And you really can hear and visualize so much on the river. Yeah, buddy. Hooked up. <laughs> Mirror court? Time you gonna you gonna catch this thing? There we are. We're on the board with that one. This is a little tributary here. Uh, it's a, kind of a kind of a cool spot because you have a lot of big fish in the main river, and then in this tributary, there's a uh, definitely the opportunity for these big fish to come hang out in the smaller water.
Well, ran back to get the net. And of course, Adam just doesn't know how to keep the fish on. What happened? Oh, that was that was a really good fish right there that just came up and ate the dry. Damn, dude. There you begin. All the worm. Keep them on, baby. Yo, the, the sun got up and the fish are just pushed down. I don't know if they're just in the deepest holes. Uh, yo, I do think we're gonna keep keep trying some nymphing for the rest of the day, but I believe we're uh, gonna scoot out of here this evening and maybe go over to one of our other favorite rivers, the Madison. Steve and I fished that river probably the most of any river in Montana, so I feel like it'll be, if we don't kinda already have it dialed, it'll be pretty easy to dial it up. Dirty nymph them. Nymph them up. It's a good fish. It's a really pretty fish. Easy now. We know what happened the other day. What's my rig? You may have three. I just had to re rig it. Yes! <laughs> Steve's not skunked, baby. <laughs> Thank you. About fing time, Jesus. <laughs> Ah, uh, school me worm wins again. <laughs> school me worm wins again. And I'm sitting here like rigging up as fast as humanly possible so I can hit this, hit that wall there because I lost one the first day on that wall. Like that's literally the last, last possible spot for me to catch it. Well, Steve escaped the skunk on the mo for the last couple days. Happy Le Pew. So we're almost done with our float, and uh, tonight we're gonna pick up B from the airport. He, uh, of course, work getting in the way of, of fishing in Montana, unfortunately. You deserve some tacos. I, I need some dank tacos and some good marks. You want oh, the short oh, bus? Oh, I'm gonna make us a little, a little drink when we get back to the bus, okay. though. That's so good. We absolutely just destroyed some tacos that Adam just made. Definitely slowing us down now. But we decided we're gonna pack up the bus and we're gonna head to Ennis and actually spend our last couple days in Ennis fishing the Madison and areas around there. And if you guys are interested in learning how we made these tacos, we're doing like a side cooking series and we did an episode on, on the tacos. And so that'll either be out already or it will be released shortly if you guys wanna check it out. But packing things up and uh, we're heading to Ennis. Airport, and hopefully BR Pat is at the same airport. You walk there in. There he is. What's up? What's up, buddy? Good to see you, mate. Good to see you. Just rolled into Ennis. 
about 11.30, so we were right on schedule. B didn't set us back at all. Steve evidently has a campsite up here. I'm a little weary of that, but he's parked the bus somewhere, and uh, hopefully it's a good spot. We got B in the back, we got Steve in a bus. You know, things are happening. The, the gang's back together. I'm already having something like something. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> B is finally home. I'm so glad. It smells in there. <laughs> it smells. <laughs> Holy. So if we look behind us real quick, you can see that there is literally a wall of gray. And that is not a mountain face that you're looking at. That is literally rain hey, that we just came out of. We found a bus. I bet so many people have kind of pulled up and be like, no, we're not camping here. <laughs> Just, we're guy. going to a different spot. <laughs> yeah, I'm not camping anywhere near that.